Welcome to This Week in Fitness, where we crunch the latest fitness business headlines all in under five minutes. I'm your host, Chrissy Van, and here's what's making news. First, let's start with the Paris 2024 Paralympic Games, where Techno Gym has been named the official supplier for the ninth consecutive time. As the Games continue through September 8th, Techno Gym is providing training equipment tailored to the needs of Paralympic athletes. Their BioStrength and SkillLine products are designed for adaptable training, offering precise resistance and customizable settings that help athletes work on everything from strength to endurance. Switching gears to the business side, Lululemon released its financial results for the second quarter of fiscal 2024, showing a 7% increase in net revenue to $2.4 billion. However, the company missed Wall Street sales expectations for the first time in two years. The shortfall is linked to the launch and subsequent withdrawal of the breeze-through leggings, which were removed from stores after customer feedback on design and comfort issues. Despite this, Lululemon's international sales saw a strong 29% growth, helping to offset some of the domestic challenges. In response to these developments, Lululemon has adjusted its full-year revenue guidance. In the tech world of fitness, San Diego-based Walla has brought on Beth Potter as its new vice president of sales. With over a decade of experience in driving sales performance, Potter will focus on expanding Walla's software usage, both in the U.S. and internationally. Her background in fitness consulting and managing multiple fitness brands positions her well to help Walla grow its presence in the market. On the wellness front, Canyon Ranch has introduced a new high-end program called Longevity 8, designed to blend advanced science with holistic wellness. This four-day experience, priced at $20,000 per person or $36,000 a couple, offers a deep dive into your health through 15 diagnostic tests and over 200 biomarker evaluations. From integrative medicine to strength and endurance, this program aims to enhance both lifespan and health span. It's set to launch at Canyon Ranch's Tucson Resort in November 2024. In the pharmaceutical arena, Eli Lilly has made its obesity drug Zepbound or Terzepatide more accessible by offering discounted vials for self-pay patients through their direct-to-consumer platform, Lilly Direct. These new vials are priced significantly lower than other GLP-1 medications, making it easier for patients without insurance coverage to access treatment. The 5 milligram dose of terzepatide, when combined with a reduced calorie diet and increased physical activity, has shown promising results, including an average weight loss of 15% over 72 weeks. On a broader health note, U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy recently released an advisory on the mental health and well-being of parents, highlighting the increasing stress levels among parents compared to other adults. The advisory underscores the need for better support systems for parents, including access to affordable childcare and mental health services. For fitness facilities, this presents an opportunity to support parents by offering reliable childcare options, making it easier for them to prioritize their mental health and well being through regular exercise. That's all for this week in fitness. I'm your host, Chrissy Van. Remember, stay fit, stay informed, and keep your fitness business in shape.